The American Cancer Society's Hope Lodge program provides a free, supportive, home away from home for adult cancer patients and their families when their best hope for effective treatment means traveling to another city. We see patients that are traveling from 87 Ohio counties, 43 states, 25 countries, um, adult patients. They do need to live uh, at least 40 miles away in order to qualify to stay here, but they're cancer patients receiving treatment from our world-class uh, healthcare facilities. When guests first come, come to the Hope Lodge, they're so grateful for the cost savings. So it's, it's a free, free lodging for them while they're out of town for anywhere from days to weeks to months. They are surrounded by fellow guests that know exactly what they're going through, whether it's the patient or their caregiver. Um, it's the support, it's the fellowship, it's encouragement. Um, it's, it's a safe place where, where you can kind of feel how you're feeling. It's different from staying in a hotel in that when you get back from treatment at the end of a really long day, again, you're surrounded by other people, um, you're cooking meals together like you would in your home. The kitchen is pretty much always the busiest place in the lodge. I think there's an almost constant smell of bacon coming from the kitchen in the early part of the day, but in the evenings especially, that is where it's just hustling and bustling. And so we'll have, um, on any given night, a group of volunteers providing a meal, uh, which is great and something else you don't have to think about um, after a long day, but also guests that are cooking their, their hometown favorites. So whatever they feel comfortable making and, and they want to share with everybody as well. So I think that that's, that's what you really see is just so much fellowship going on in the kitchen. Our rooms are, are kind of like a typical hotel room. So two double beds in every room, but they have you know the full pri private bathroom, um, laundry facilities, uh, everything that they might need in their home, we try to provide here just to kind of check off as many boxes as we can. We have 31 guest rooms here. We are full, we're at capacity pretty much every single night. Uh, we do always operate with a wait list and how we get folks in is actually through a referral process with the cancer centers in the area. So typically social workers, sometimes patient navigators will fax referrals over to us or scan them over to us and that's how we get folks on our wait list. And it's truly a first come first serve basis, no other kind of qualifying factors. And I think that that's the great thing about the Hope Lodge and about a, a lot of our evening programming too because it's an outlet for our caregivers as well. This is, this is a really trying time for them also. So we have um, some different activities that go on, some a little bit more relaxing like our chair yoga that we offer um, on a weekly basis which is great, um, as well as art therapy, uh, music therapy, uh, even just game nights. Our, our caregivers are our guests just as our patients are, and so they're welcome to participate in, in all of the programming that we offer here, which I think is a really helpful support. Like any American Cancer Society program, volunteers are definitely the lifeblood of the Hope Lodge program. Uh, we are a small staff, but we are immensely supported by our volunteers, um, and whether that's our day-to-day -day volunteers helping out with checking guests in and out, um, any of their needs while they're staying here, and also again those evening volunteers that really provide those, those welcome distractions um, at the end of the day. We're so proud of our healthcare facilities and we don't always make that next connection of, you know, we bring folks from all over the world here, but where are they staying? And so the Hope Lodge kind of answers that question for, for cancer patients.